Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. I know I haven't posted anything in a while. Um, that is because the Clear Lake trip was terrible. Like, so terrible, I couldn't even put together a terrible video. Uh, I mean, I'm honest. I'm open with you guys. Uh, you know, fishing's not always lollipops and rainbows. You're not always going to get out there and, you know, get those five, six pounders every time. But, like, it was bad. I mean, I skunked out the first day. Well, me and my partner skunked out the first day. And it only weighed in one fish day two. It was just completely embarrassing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and it was just it was just terrible. We're not going to talk about that. Um, we have the Delta coming up. And that I will get into in just a minute. Because there's some, some drama around that one. Uh, but I am excited to show you guys the merch that just dropped y'all like oh i'm so excited i came and put um you know my real feelings into words right now i all i can say is uh thank you to maria she's who made my logos um and then pro stitch usa made them come to life um i do have some pre-orders boop, 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 boop. right here but let me show you guys what we're working with excuse the messy boat but we're gonna get into all this so nice little hoodie, black and white, the red and white, they actually messed up on those. This is a t-shirt, so this was supposed to be like that. Um, it's supposed to be black, but honestly the white pops really, really good. The black does too, especially in the, uh, in the sun. Um, and then we got the other logo. It's looking pretty nice. Got some few hats. Uh, and then these are supposed to be boat decals like carpet decals but i'm kind of scared uh, i've heard of some ways to do it so i'm gonna probably try like one of these in the back somewhere in case if i mess up but definitely got some uh some little smaller stickers uh got some of these so selling the hats for 30 um the thing is with the hats he was telling me when i picked them up that honestly this is a logo to get patched i mean it doesn't look bad it looks really good very nice detail they did an awesome job but um what he was telling me is that that logo would look really really good uh with with kind of like a patch um as far as anything else hoodies are gone for 45 and then the hats are oh yeah i said the hats are, are 30 and then the shirts are 25 stickers three bucks a piece um these i'm not sure if anybody's gonna actually want to get these I only got six of each uh so hit me up if you want um Go to my Instagram. It's gonna be at underscore real R E E L underscore T dot V dot underscore. Um, but yeah, so let's jump into <laughs> this is gonna be a pretty short video, but let's jump into what happened. So about a month ago, it's, it's story time, and I guess I guess I should tell the story how how it should be told um if you fish especially if you fish the delta especially if you fish really anywhere in california hell of the world you know oh the original ripping lips the e40 of bass fishing uh i like that uh that mark daniels came up with that that he called him that in a, in a video um not too long ago because he comes up with these crazy crazy words and you know uh oh's a really really good guy man and um but anyways back to the back to the story so i hit up oh maybe about a month ago saying hey come fish this tournament with me he said i'm gonna check the schedule we'll be we'll, we'll, wop um and he said yeah so i'm like all right cool so it comes, uh, you know, draw time for, for the tournament. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I fish with Folsom Bass Team. Uh, not throwing any shade uh, at Folsom Bass Team. It's a really good group, group of guys. Um, but I am a little disappointed. Um, and I'll tell you why. So, hit up Oh Yeah, he'll fish the tournament with me. I put my name down, put his name down. I get a text. And I'm not going to mention anybody's name because I'm really not about to throw anyone under the bus. I'm just speaking because... I was a little upset i mean i still am because i ended up you know almost not even fishing this tournament at all um but hit up oh he said yeah 
Um, I tell them I'm fishing with O, and I get a response saying, "You mean O Williams, the one who just placed fourth in the in the Wild West Bass Tournament?" Uh, yeah, yeah, that's him. Oh, okay, we got to vote on this to see if he can fish. So, I knew where that was going. Uh, definitely, yeah, I knew at that point they weren't gonna let him fish. Uh, so they voted on it, and. I guess he's not low enough, I, I guess you could say, uh, but basically saying that he was above uh, club level, especially on the Delta, but my argument is, you know, where where does that line really draw at? Because, I mean, there's guys that go fish pro tournaments and then come back and fish with us, and, you know, there's guys, I mean, O could have a bad day, we all could have bad days, but... Um, for the sake of the club, um, they didn't want him to fish because there may have been an advantage there. But my argument is, well, when we fish, you know, Orville, I've been there two times. Uh, do we go to Folsom this season? If I don't know, but if we go to Folsom, never been there. Uh, when we went to Clear Lake, eh, I guess it's my fault. It's my second time there. Uh, or else, next tournament supposed to be at Party never been there following tournament shasta haven't been there since i was like six uh just all these lakes that i have absolutely no knowledge about absolutely nothing no graph markings no nothing i just got to go out there and try to figure it out day of so that's my disadvantage and is that my fault yeah sure i guess i could go fish out there some more um, so I'm not knocking anything on that, but to say that I would have this extreme advantage because he's known on the Delta, he fishes the Delta. Yeah, sure. Okay. But this is the disadvantage I, I kind of face every tournament that we have. And you know, I'm not crying about it. I just go out there grind. If I have a bad day, I have a bad day. If I catch a few, I catch a few. Um, so that it, it, it was really, really disappointing. Um, so I had to tell O that, you know, he wasn't able to fish. Um, and he was a little bummed out too, you know, he kind of felt bad because he knew how excited I was to get out there with him. Uh, you know, go out there, get some gorditas and some dupes, you know, I mean, you know how O is. Uh, and even if we didn't, you know, there's, there's one thing that I always said about, about him. And, and if you ever meet him, man, it's your jaw will literally hurt because you'll be laughing and smiling so much. And that's what I love about that man. And, and honestly, he's like my mentor of bass fishing i mean i i want to model you know my fishing style and techniques and you know i'll tweak it and throw in my own things but like man he's just overall a really really great guy and um what i said is like this is why i respect this man and look up to this man so much and oh if you're watching this man i i really want to let you know that like man you're an awesome dude um, but, but what gets me is like, he could play dead last in the tournament and you come back up to the, to the dock in the way in and you would think this guy won the tournament, man. Just all smiles, all love for the game, all love for the sport. And that's what, you know, that's what I, I appreciate. That's what I admire. And that's what I, you know, want to model myself for. I mean, yeah, we all get frustrated sometimes, you know, it's a tough sport, Especially when you get out there and you feel like you're doing everything right and it's just not going your way. Uh, so it can be, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Just frustrating in general. Um, but enough of that. It's all good. Um, I ended up, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip this around because I'm going to show you guys. So I ended up with a partner. Um, and it's kind of a crazy story because <clears throat> I drove up to Yuba City to go to Manny's Rod Shop. And I'm actually going to fish with Manny. Um, so that should be fun. But I did. I want to show you guys. I picked up on Man, they hooked your boy up. They hooked your boy up. I went in there. I was like, look, you ain't spending over $500. Just get about three rods and call it a day. Throw, switch some reels over until I, you know, get some new reels. I walked out with five rods, y'all. Five rods i'm gonna flip this around and show you guys so we're gonna start off ooh, with the champ right this is a cbmf glass seven footer 
for my crank baits, jerk baits, and my and my top waters, this is this is gonna be my go-to. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna be the one I'll probably pick up and throw all day, every day, all day long. Then I got another uh, spinning rod. This is gonna be you know strictly for my drop shots, Fury series. Uh, solid, solid rods, man. These Dobbins are. I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm hooked already. Uh, they're just, they're nice, nice rods. Always got good backbones, right flex at the right spots. Um, so that's gonna be for for my drop shot uh, setup. And I got this <laughs> big boy right here. Another Fury series this is gonna be for punching. Obviously, eight foot. Obviously, you're gonna throw, you know, 65 to 80 pound braid on it. Uh, but this is man, I could I can feel this is a stick right here. This is just nice and nice and solid. Uh, this one's actually the seven nine five. Uh, oh no 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 no, this ain't even. Excuse me, this ain't even my pitching stick. This is my swim bait rod. Excuse me, sorry for the met, uh the mix up right there. But this is this is uh. This is for my swim bait, so I'm gonna throw, you know, the A rigs, all that good stuff, big glide baits, big swim baits, seven nine one piece. Um, but yeah, man, even this, it's got a nice solid backbone on it. Um, I did pick up one of the Cadence. I didn't go in there thinking I was gonna get a Cadence, but you know, just for some, you know, I always got a couple crank baits tied on, so. Um, a couple crank baits or jerk baits, kind of wherever I go, to be honest. I, I don't know. I'm just a. Uh, a crankster i guess whatever you want to call me but uh definitely gonna be throwing that around um and now this this is what i'm this is gonna hopefully be the key in the delta right here i want to set this baby up and uh you know if you really want to get those big ones sometimes yeah depending on the tide and the weather and you know all that stuff you get up in those grass uh you know patches and you know you find those holes and you punch them and and come out with a with a nice solid bag just punching but obviously i'm gonna throw a bunch of things i'm not gonna I'm not gonna give everything away um but yeah that about does it i mean this video is at about 12 and a half minutes so i don't even know if you guys have made it this far or got tired of me talking but if you did thank you um definitely hit me up i'll i'll probably uh you know add my instagram handle on here uh hit that like button Hit that subscribe button, share it, comment, do whatever. We are here, Real TV, got the merch, got some pre-orders in, got some extras. Hit me up for some stickers, man. I appreciate everybody who's already pre-ordered. Appreciate everybody who's been hitting me up. Um, go check out the Instagram. This is not necessarily everything. There's a couple more colors and designs and... Um, you know mix and match of the of the style of them um but definitely hit me up hit my dms get an order in uh i'll start shipping some out too if you're far away um but thank you guys i really really appreciate you all i mean i know we're just starting up this channel kind of and we're, we're getting to it but it's a grind is getting going um and and we're making it there oh i forgot to tell you guys i actually made a little day box it's kind of cool. I uh, freehanded this, not a single measurement. So I know it's a little, not that great, but not bad. Say I just start cutting things up. Um, I'm gonna shut up now. It's a lot of talking, about 15 minutes of talking actually. So I will catch you guys on the water at the Delta. Stay real, stay true. Let's do this. Hey. I'm excited. Definitely please, if you haven't, like, comment, subscribe, um, and I'll see you guys around. Hey, always, stay real.